The club has taken a lot of precautions to make sure that everybody feels safe coming into the club, whether it's a member or a guest or even our staff. I'm making sure that you can visually see the efforts being put forth. You will always see a cleaner, no matter what room you go into, you will always see somebody wiping things down. We're really stepping back and trying to walk through every single member experience to make sure every touch point has been thought about, addressed, and planned for. Right away, you'll see a new front desk. You'll notice plexiglass and a thermal thermometer as well that takes your temperature as you walk into the club. You will check in with your membership card. If you do not have a membership card currently, the membership department will be able to make you one on the spot. For our remote workers at the club, the second floor of President's Hall is a great space. The ceilings are high, there's a lot of open air, and while you're seated, you can remove your mask. The dining experience is very similar to what it was before. So when you visit Cafe One, there is a plexiglass divider and you can locate the menu on a QR code, but it's still very much the same. It's Cafe One, it's the one we've always loved. When you come up to the Carvery, the entrance is actually a little bit different. You're gonna go down the hallway and there's signage to tell you how you're going and where exactly you're going. There are plexiglass dividers between the cooks and the members. And then there's also social distancing markers on the floors, menus up so you can kind of make your decision before you get to the counter. The cooks and everyone else are wearing masks, so we're trying to be as proactive as possible to keep everyone safe. I'm very excited about all the changes in Rendezvous. We've actually added some really cool things and some really great stuff. The beverage experience in Rendezvous, I mean, you could still get all the same great cocktails you were able to get before. We've actually added one or two new beers, a few other things, but it's really fantastic. You're also able to grab lunch from the Carvery and take it into the library as you work. You'll notice the lights are a little bit brighter and there's plexiglass around the working spaces. The eighth floor patio is also open. The patio is one of the most unique and special kind of locations in the club and you can still go out there and grab a cocktail from Cafe One or the fourth floor, head on up and just kick back and relax. All of our guest rooms are available to book at amazing rates right now for members and guests. We ensure that the rooms are vacant for 72 hours after someone checks out of the room, and then our amazing housekeeping staff goes in and deep cleans the entire room for you. The city has asked that all fitness facilities have some form of reservation system. So right now, if you haven't made a reservation and you just come up to athletics, if something's available, we'll absolutely get you in to where we're still within capacity guidelines. A lot of the stuff has been rearranged in athletics. We have plexiglass that's separating anywhere that you cannot maintain social distancing. Different equipment's being touched by multiple people and we're disinfecting it as people put the equipment away. All the services are open. We're doing the barbershop, nails, massage. All the personal trainers are back. We want everyone to just feel safe and comfortable so that they know they can come in and enjoy the clubhouse and enjoy athletics. When members return to the club, they'll feel that they've come home. This is a place that they've been a member of for, it could be two years or two decades or three decades. And we want them to know that the club is a place that they can come back to on a regular basis. While the club may look a little different, the premier service and amenities still remain. We cannot wait to see you back at the club soon.